But what I have right here is a chip, and basically what this chip is, is this is about a, um, maybe about a 30% fly, 70% roll, okay? So this is a chip, we're gonna get just, the ball get on the green like any normal chip. We're gonna get on the green, then we're gonna roll it to the hole like a putt. So we're gonna get it minimal air time, maximum roll time, okay? So anytime you have a chip, you want minimal fly, maximum roll. That's number one. Okay, so what we do when we step over this chip <clears throat> is the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the appropriate club for it. <clears throat> and on this chip, the appropriate club for me is about a nine iron. A 30% fly, 70% roll is about a nine iron, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do in a chip is select the appropriate club. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through the proper fundamentals to hit that perfect chip. Okay, so here's fundamental number one. Fundamental number one, is we want to choke down on this golf club, okay? Now this is gonna be the exact same grip you use in a full swing grip, except we're gonna choke down. Now the reason we're gonna choke down is for control. Okay, now this is, well, obviously I can hit this club, you know, 130, 140 yards, okay, in a full swing. This is not a full swing. This is a short little shot. So we can choke down for control. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choke down on the club. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one finger on the shaft. I'm gonna put one finger on the shaft so I'm consistent in that spot every single time. Now here's the interesting part. In a full swing, you're gonna grip the club in a perfect full swing type motion. Now, in a short game, it's the exact same grip we just choked down. So that's number one. We are gonna get this face square to a perfect grip, okay? Because too often when people get over top of chip, they'll rotate the hands to the right, some to rotate to the left, they may get the hands really strong, it starts messing with that club face, causing issues with their chip. We are gonna use the exact same grip we're using a full swing, we just choke down on the club for control. So that's fundamental number one. Okay, so now when I get up over this chip, I hit the shot, I'm gonna hold the finish. Now, if you look at the finish, my lead knee is flexed towards my lead toe, my trail knee is flexed towards my lead toe. So what you saw here, as I turn back, both knees flex towards my lead toe. When you do this, I'll do it one more time for you here. As I did this, okay, and I hit a proper chip, both knees flexed towards that lead toe. Now, as I sit in this position, there's more flex in my lead knee than my trail knee slightly, but again, both are flexed towards that lead toe. Now this is exactly like a full swing. When you make impact in a full swing, in proper impact, both knees are flexed towards the lead toe. In fact, Mo Norman said, and we asked Mo this many, many times, we said, what starts your downswing? Mo would always say, my left knee or my lead knee. He'd say, my lead knee starts the downswing. Well, that's the same thing we're doing here. So as I hit this chip, I'm going down, both knees are flexing towards that lead toe. What you're not seeing is the knees pull out. And this is what most golfers, or most common golfers, this is what they do. When they hit a chip, they pull the lead knee out, which here's the issue with that. It pulls the trail shoulder out. Because what we're trying to do here is both knees flex towards that lead toe and they set down. This allows the trail shoulder to drop. So instead of that trail shoulder, like with most golfers going over top, as I flex that knee properly, this trail shoulder is going to drop. Dropping that trail shoulder allows the arms and the hands to go towards the target. And this is the key here. This is the key to getting your hands down the target line or towards the target. This is the key. Because as I, now I got, have a good setup here, okay, which allows me to get my hands down the target line, but ultimately, when I take this club back, when I take it back and I hit make impact, setting the lower body properly allows this shoulder to drop, which allows the hands and the arms to go down the target line. Okay, so the, the effect in the process is this. Flex the knees properly. Flexing these properly will drop this hip down slightly. Dropping that hip down slightly drops this shoulder down dramatically. Dropping the trail shoulder down dramatically allows the arms to go towards the target, which obviously in turn allows the hands to go towards the target. Because now, as I do a good, as I hit a proper chip here, I'll hit another one for you. As I hit a proper chip here, if you look, my knees are flexed towards my, tra my lead toe, okay? My hip has gone down slightly. My shoulder has gone down dramatically. Now, if I set this club across his shoulders, it's still pointed at the target. It's not pointed to the left. And this is what we see too often in golfers, pointed away from the target. So now, this is what most golfers have the issue on because I'm gonna write this in the full swing. 
When you take a full swing, you are doing the same thing. At impact, you are flexing both knees towards the lead toe. Both knees flex. Okay? You are sitting down towards impact. You are dropping the trail shoulder under. It's not going around. It's going under at impact. That under allows the arms and the hands to go towards the target. It's the exact same thing in the full swing as the chip. That's why I call it the two birds with one stone. And this is what most golfers have to work on a lot. Because in most golfers, what they do instinctively, they take the club back, they'll pull across it. As they pull across it, it pulls the shoulders out. If you pull the shoulders out, and it's basically going here, away from the target, how do you expect your arms and your hands to go to the target? It's basically impossible. So what we're doing is we're taking the club back and we're setting. The setting of the knees towards that lead toe, that setting down, drops the trail shoulder. As you drop that trail shoulder down, it allows the arms and the hands to go towards the target line.